I don't know what a hedge fund is. I I, I really don't know. It, it, uh, when I say that, um, um, it's like a. It, it would be like using a term a, um, a mutual fund. So it's a structure within which um, investors can do all different things. Like a mutual fund, you might say some people are value investors. Some people invest in bonds. Some people invest in stocks. People do all different things within a structure called a hedge fund. So it's a particular structure that allows people to do all different things. Basically, though, it allows you to invest without um, um, uh, much in the way of uh, restrictions, traditional ways. I can sell short as well as go long. If something's going to go, if I think something will go down, I can sell short. I can go into any market. I can go into stocks or bonds or commodities or gold or anywhere that I want to go within my agreement with my client. Um, so I give me the freedom to approach the world to look at whatever's good or whatever's bad. And so it's a, it's a vehicle that allows me the freedom to invest in the best way that I know how. There was nothing to do with vision. And it's and I think it was probably very much like Steve Jobs in this. We had parallel lives in a sense because we were the, we were contemporaries, right? And you want and I watch him and I. Uh, uh. So I would for me, I, I guess I was describing. So I love to trade markets. I worked, um, you know, at a Wall Street firm, two Wall Street firms, in about for about two years. I got out of school in '73, um, and I um, had problems fitting into the organization, meaning. Um, um, you know, I literally, uh, uh, <laughs> uh, I literally, you know, got in a fist fight with my boss because on New Year's Eve we were drunk together, and you know, it's it was that kind of it was a, it was not an organ I was not a well behaved um, employee, and and it you know working within an organization was not the right thing for me, and I was always loved being independent. And at the time, clients of Shearson, it was then Shearson at the time, um, uh, had great relationships. They loved it. They loved working with me. And so they were going to pay me. And so I could then start my business. I didn't view it as starting a business. I just viewed it as um, I get to do what I like to do, which is to play the markets. And they'll pay me to do that. And then I did that. And then, of course, what happens over time is um, you need things. So I, I need people to work with. And besides, I love playing the game with people. And so I brought in other people, but people would do things. And, and so, um, you know, and I get computers and I get other things over a period of time. And it grows and it became a company. But I never viewed it as a company. I really viewed it more like I'm doing this thing and these are the things that I needed, those people in that group. And then I just kept doing it, and and the things I needed became the company. I was in that apartment for um, a couple of years. Then I moved to a Brownstone, which uh, Brownstone is a townhouse because I needed more space. I lived on the top two floors and worked on the bottom two floors, and I did that and had you know my my family, I'm, uh, two children, and um, then we moved out uh, in, to Wilton, Connecticut. Um, because I got tired of the city, and I wanted to raise my kids in the uh, outside, and uh, so then we rented a house, and so on. Now we have uh, fifteen hundred employees.